guys, what's going on? I'm Drake. And just before I get this commentary started, I'd like to thank Miss Danielle for letting me post this video. Um, I, I kind of went out my way purposely on Double XP Weekend to try and get a really good game. And then I came across this and I, I would actually didn't know that Nuketown 24-7 was going on until like a subscriber told me. So when this came about, I was like, okay, this is, cl this is clip time. This is time to get a really good commentary going. And I got, I'm not going to say I got lucky, but I put a few good games in and I decided to choose the 127 for 7 gameplay because it's it's just consistent. I'm getting kill feeds all over the place, it's fun. Um, I don't really think I stopped moving. Uh, one thing you should know about my gameplay, guys, is at the very start, I usually hang back a little bit. I'm in the face quite a lot because I'm in their spawn right now. But I, I kind of, I still stay quite mobilized and just, sorry, immobilized, and I just kind of build my kill streaks, and then when I finally get my, uh, I think my last kill streak is dogs in this game. Yeah, uh, dogs, I just kind of go on a complete tear, rush their spawn, and don't really stop. Uh, if I die again, I die, big deal, I, I get my dogs again, and I go for it, and go for it, and go for it. And that's just how I work. Uh, especially in Nuketown, a map like this, you just need to play like that. Uh, there's no point staying in the houses like I see a lot of people do. There's no point staying in the houses on demolition. Uh, and I think it's pretty soon. I'm not too sure. I get. A, I think it's a 27 man kill streak in the space of 40 seconds, and I send that off to X Jaws for his top five plays. And that right there, guys, is what I'm going to talk about the gameplay because I know you guys understand the gameplay, you know what goes down uh, Call of Duty videos have been going for about three years now two or three years so you know the drill, you know what's going to happen um, and I, I don't really want to go into it too much so I, I decided to like come up with a topic, I've done this with my friend uh, Ian he basically said you know come up with a topic that's really interesting and it'll keep, it'll keep you guys, en uh, not entertained but intrigued and also get you involved. So I decided to come up with, um, is Call of Duty ruining the, oh, actually one minute, one minute, where is it? Here it is, right now, um, I completely missed it, what the hell, um, th this, this little area here, I think if you rewind it by about 20 seconds, it's just this whole little clip, it's just 27 people or 28 people, I didn't count it exactly, but it, I go on a complete tear. And I basically took advantage of the awful spawn system in Demolition. It just, <laughs> it really is the noob, noobiest game mode I can think of. And this is probably why people say it's the favorite, because it's the easiest. It really is easy. Um, anyway, off gameplay now. Um, oh god, it is a fun game though. Um, <laughs> what was I going to say, is Call of Duty uh, taking over the games industry? Not destroying it, is it taking over? Uh, honestly guys, and girls, uh, have you ever like sat down and not bought a Call of Duty game? Like every year, I see people, you know, I've had friends, uh, family, say, "Oh, you know what? I'm bored of Call of Duty. I'm not gonna buy it in November when it comes out. I'm not buying it. Screw it." Um, and then it comes to November, and they're standing right beside me in the midnight launch queue, ready to buy it. Okay, money in hand, ready to buy. And these are the same people that are gonna stay up all night playing it. Like, I don't know, a good 12 hours, go to college, go to work, whatever, and then get home and do the same drill again, just play it all over. And I was curious, because I've actually not, um, I had an Xbox in 2006 and I bought Call of Duty 3, and it was okay, it wasn't really anything special. And, and then I got Call of Duty 4, and I think from Call of Duty 4 onwards, everyone's bought the game. I mean, I know all my friends have, all of them, every single one has bought Call of Duty 4, 5, Modern Warfare 2, and Black Ops without a shadow of a doubt every time and I'm the same uh, I keep saying like you know after Modern Warfare 2 I'm not too keen on Black Ops and then the, they show these really awesome trailers and it just it makes you want more and more and like from they always show single player stuff I don't know why they do that they must have gathered by now that no one really cares about the single player in Call of Duty it's all the multiplayer but uh, yeah I just I was really into it and I gotta say I took uh, my subscribers on though I took about two weeks off from uh, two weeks off, what am I on about? I took about two months off playing Call of Duty, and a lot of people got pretty annoyed. But I just wanted a break, you know. I've been playing Call of Duty for, like solid for three years now, you know. It's really boring, and or oh, four years, shall I say. And it's just it's kind of same old, same old. And honestly, after I came back, I've been getting some really good gameplay and really good clips, stuff like that. It's just honestly, if you're 
feeling a little bored, just take a break, honestly. It'll do you a whole load of good. Um, and you can probably concentrate on other things as well. Um, so one uh, little topic, one little point of discussion that came up with, um, has Call of Duty became more of a brand than an actual video game? Um, and how, how does that affect developers? Um, well, you guys can actually comment on this. Just tell me what do you think. Has Call of Duty became more of a brand than an actual video game now? Because if you think about it, Call of Duty is everywhere. You know, its advertising campaigns cost hundreds of millions for Activision. Um, and it's all over the place. My mum knows what Call of Duty is. Okay, my granddad knows what Call of Duty is. Everyone knows about it. And the, the crazy thing is, this puts a whole load of pressure on developers. Um, can you imagine Infinity War, the pressure on Infinity War to capitalize on Call of Duty 4 and think, okay, how do we make this game better? I mean, well, even going back before that, like Call of Duty 2 was a massive success. It was game of the year. And no one expected it to win. It did. And, and then they had to make Call of Duty 4. They made it. It was better, in my opinion. And, and then Call of Duty 5 came out and it, it completely got ripped apart, you know? People were just killing it, saying it was too much of the same thing. And they didn't like the World War. Uh, World War theme and stuff like that um, and also th and then obviously Modern Warfare 2 came out and I don't, did you guys like that game really I mean I thought it was okay until people started like doing the whole noob tube thing and and sniping was a little easy for my liking it, it, I don't know how many sniper clans thought they were just optic wannabes coming out of the woodwork like thinking oh we're so pro at sniping yay but um, honestly it's just the, 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 oh my god, I got my words mixed up there. <laughs> the developers have got so much pressure, I mean, especially Treyarch, because they kind of, they're in the shadow, really, if you think about it. They're in the shadow of uh, Infinity Ward, they've got to make a better game. In my opinion, they made a better game, okay? Black Ops is a m probably the best in the series so far for me, personally. I know a lot of YouTubers have gone off it and said they don't like it already. Um, for me, it's the most balanced game, it's the most fair. Um, if you can snipe in this game, you're a beast, okay? Hats off to you, you're an animal. Um, and that's that. I'd just like to say, guys, uh, once again, thanks to Miss Danielle. And also, if you could comment on any topic you want that I have mentioned in this, um, that would be awesome. And if you could come check my channel out, that would be extra awesome. And peace out, guys.